Seconds to the gentlelady from Indiana. A quick follow-up on CHS 1 from page 243, who, according to your report, created conspiracy allegation in direct conflict with his recording and misstated significant material fact to the FBI, among other things, and you are unable to establish his intent. Would you be able to provide to the committee a recording of your CHS 1 interview on April 6, 2021, per page 192, and any other interviews in your possession? Yes or no? Um. I'm, did you refer to page 43? I'm sorry if I can just find on page 43. Page 92, would you provide the recording to the committee that you list? Yes or no? The recording with confidential human source one, I think, is what she's asking about. Oh, and and um, she, she would like that provided. She's asking if that could be provided to the committee, Mr. Uh, Mr. Durham. I mean, it's a piece of um, evidence uh, that belongs to the FBI. I think probably that's better directed to the FBI. Uh, okay. okay. Re reclaiming yeah. my time, uh, Mr. Durham. This seems to all started with one person, but I don't see his name in your report. I see it in Mueller's report 89 times. Who did Mr. Papadopoulos meet with that, that gave him this supposed Russian information? When Mr. Papadopoulos was interviewed by the FBI, um, he had identified Joseph Mifsud um, as a person who had provided him that information. Did you interview Joseph Mifsud? We attempted to um, interview him. Uh, we pursued um, every lead that we had. We talked to a lawyer that he had in Europe, but we never were able to actually make contact is, with him so he, we could interview him. Do you think he's a, a, a Western source? Is he associated with Western intelligence? Um, it's hard to say who Mr. Mifsud is associated with. He was tied up with Link University. Um, Mr. Scotti, who had um, involvement in the Italian government, and um, they were Appointed. I, um, it's hard to say who Mifsud is. I'm, I'm going to yield the remainder of my time to Mr. Gates. Hard to say who Mifsud is. He's the guy who started the whole thing. We've known it for years. Go ahead and play the video. When the special counsel's office interviewed Mifsud, did he lie to you guys too? Can't get into that. Did you interview Mifsud? Can't get into that. Is Mifsud Western intelligence Can't or Russian intelligence? That. Can't get into that. Well, I'm reading from your report. Mifsud told Papadopoulos, Papadopoulos tells the diplomat, the diplomat tells the FBI, the FBI opens the investigation July 31st, 2016, and here we are three years later, July of 2019, the country's been put through this, and the central figure who launches it all lies to us, and you guys don't hunt him down and interview him again, and you don't charge him with a crime. Maybe a better course of action is to figure out how the false accusation started. Maybe it's to go back and actually figure out why Joseph Mifsud was lying to the FBI. And here's the good news. Here's the good news. That's exactly what Bill Barr is doing. And thank goodness for that. That's exactly what the Attorney General and John Durham are doing. Well, Mr. Durham, was that what you were doing? It, I'm sorry, is that what? Was finding out who Mifsud was what you were doing? And we pursued um, that avenue, yes. Right, but was he... This whole thing was an op, Mr. Durham. This wasn't like a bumbling, fumbling FBI that like, couldn't get FISA straight. They ran an op. So who put Mifsud in play? You don't know, do you? I do not know that. I can't but give you the answer. For years, you had years to find out the answer to what Mr. Jordan said was the seminal question, and you don't have it. And it, it, just, it just begs the question whether or not you were really trying to find that out. Because it's one thing... To, to criticize the FBI for their FISA violations, to write a report. They've been criticized in plenty of reports. Some have referred to your work as just a repackaging and regurgitation of what the Inspector General already told us. So if you, if you weren't going to do what Mr. Jordan said you were going to do in that video and give us the basis for all of it, what's this all been about? Well, I'm not exactly sure the import of your question. If, if your question is... Do we try to locate an interview, Mr. Mifsud? The answer is yes. Why didn't you subpoena? We him? expended. Wait, why didn't you subpoena him to a grand jury? I'm sorry, why not? Why didn't you send him a grand jury subpoena, Mr. Mifsud? You'd have to find Mr. Mifsud before you could serve a grand jury subpoena on him. You guys were out in Italy. Was it you and Bill Barr looking for authentic pasta over there, or Mifsud? No, we uh, we not. Um, we were looking for information that might help us locate Mifsud. But you know who I think could probably locate him the features of, uh, of Western intelligence and possibly our own government that put him in play. Like, your report seems to be less a, an indictment of the FBI and more of an inoculation, lowercase i, of course. And like many inoculations, 
It may have worse consequences down the road. I, we'll have some time to discuss this matter further, but it's just hard, it's just hard to like, pretend as though this was a sincere effort when you don't get to the fundamental thing that started the whole deal. I yield back. I was away from my family for four years, uh, essentially doing this investigation. Is, in my view is a sincere effort. The fact that you can't find somebody overseas um, should not come as a big surprise. Well, could you find Azra's hurt? Re reclaiming my time, is he alive or dead? <laughs>